Everybody, what's up? My name is Maddox. Welcome back to another beatbox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the throat bass trumpet combo. This sound I really love because you can use it in such a melodic way. And I think the most popular example where I used it was Stay. We ain't judging nobody. All right, so because it's so important to warm up your voice before you do anything with your throat bass, I will give you a few tips before we start. Tip number one is always have a bottle of water next to you while you're practicing. <sighs> Especially with a sound like this where you put a lot of tension on your vocal cords, it's really important to keep them moist. A rule of thumb is one zip around keeps your vocal cords sound. So boys and girls, please keep in mind while you're practicing, drink a lot of water. Do it! Tip number two is especially in the morning when you just woke up, you didn't use your voice at all. So it would be a really nice idea to warm up your voice before you use it and put so much tension on it. So what I really like to do is to use the Lex Vox straw. You probably could use any really thick straw, but this one is especially made for this exercise. So if you want to look it up at Amazon or somewhere else, just Google Lex Vox, L-A-X, V O X. So the exercise to do with the straw is this one. I sing scales with my voice. And I try to use the whole range of my voice. But then I do it while blowing into the straw. Because the straw is forcing you to use a lot of air, you will automatically create a sound in your throat without tension because it's more about the airflow than and it's way healthier for your voice. A second exercise I can give you is simple lip oscillations. Same thing here, you start on the lowest note that you can hit and then go up with your voice until you reach a limit. It's a pretty similar technique like the Lex Vox technique because in order to make your lips vibrate you need to use a lot of air and therefore you make sure that your vocal cords stay healthy while you sing. Alright, so as soon as you have warmed up your voice, let's start with step one, the throat bass. The way I learned it was I tried to create a vibration while clearing my throat. <clears throat> Imagine you want to say something and you need to catch the attention of your surrounding. <clears throat> Uh -um. So probably while you're clearing your throat, there's a little vibration and we want to use that in extended. A tip that helped me a lot was, in order to emphasize the throat bass, try to do a glottistop at the beginning of it. A glottistop is simply a vocal hit that you create with your throat. It's pretty much like a throat kick. And if you do this glottal stop at the beginning of a throat bass, you will make sure to get into the vibration way easier. Now also try to activate your diaphragm while doing the glottal stop, kind of like this. And then combine with the throat bass. If you don't already feel comfortable doing the throat bass, you should keep practicing until you continue with step two. So the next step is switching from throat bass into a chest bass fluently. So for me, the most simple way is to do it nasally and then try to immediately stop the vibration of the throat bass and get into your chest voice. A 
as soon as you can do this, try to speed it up. While you do this exercise, try to use lots of air. Now try to do the same while opening up your mouth. Step three is learning the vocal trumpet. First put your mouth into a position you would whistle with. Now try to sing a note with your chest voice without using a nose, like this. And now try to sing with your chest voice while having your lips in the whistle position. At the beginning it might sound really airy, but that's fine. Try to get a little tickle on your lips. It might feel strange at the beginning, but you will get used to it. So now to make the trumpet sound more electronical, we will use the glottis stop again. Try to make really short hits with your voice. Uh, 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 and then go back into the whistle position. This is the exact sound we are looking for for the throat bass trumpet combo. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the bass and the trumpet at the same time. <laughs> Stupid. Try to start with the throat bass and then switch into the whistle position with your mouth. While you do it, you should feel that the vibration kind of travels from your throat to the front of your mouth. And now try to do it again really short and make sure to make a glottis stop at the beginning. And then extend it again. Alright, so in step five, we try to combine everything we just learned. So what I do here is simply switching from my throat bass into my chest voice. But I do this in this particular lip position. The cool thing is because we have so much tension on the throat bass, but then have such a relief on the chest voice, we don't actually need to use the glottis stop. In order to get a more electronic feel into a trumpet, try to do this kissing movement. And now do the same without actually closing your mouth. While you do this, you should be able to hum through your nose at the same time because you just use the air in your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
and now try to combine it with the trumpet. And this is again how it sounds in combination with the throat bass. The cool thing with this combo is you don't actually need to start with the throat bass trumpet. You even can start with an open mouth. And this is how it sounds in a beat. Alright guys, that's it with the throat bass trumpet combo. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I keep creating tutorials, please let me know in the comment section what you want to learn next. Also, if you enjoy my content, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I see you in the next video.